Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Kingdom Rush Alliance. And oh boy, is this an escalation in our alliance, because we're not just fighting through... Uh, what I keep on like not having a brain space for the king. It's like Lenaria, but we're not fighting through there being attacked by Beastmen. We're not fighting through the former kingdom of the villain fighting cultists. We are in the cultists' realm, so things are about to get real. When I get my upgrades, I, I just skipped over this, each equipped, uh, so it's, yeah, I think it's like Lenarian. Uh, hero reduces the building and upgrade of towers, that's cool. Should have gotten that. And what is all this? Uh, hero dodge, hero critical attack. Um, let's just get this. This reduces the uh, respawn time of units, and that'll put me on track to get the uh, explosion damage thing, which is pretty cool. So, we got a new hero. She is the second magic character in the game, doing magic damage instead of physical damage. Um, we're going to upgrade her Cosmic Void Prison. Which is actually, like, it doesn't do a lot if you don't upgrade it. I was, I was, uh, I leveled her up once uh, off screen, and it does not do a lot of damage. So, I'm guessing now it'll do quite a bit more. I could get another one. Now, let's, let's get her other stuff first. Astral Reflection summons a magic reflection that attacks enemies. Cool. Um, shield an allied unit, preventing up to 60 damage. This shield explodes and does half that. Uh, except here, it doesn't stay consistent. Now it's not, it's actually doing more than half that, so that's better, actually. Opens one rift on the path for six seconds. So it opens a rift? All right, I, if they're standing over it, I'd have to see how that looks. Maybe it's tentacles. It's always tentacles. And let's see, distorts the space around all towers for six seconds, increasing their range... Yes, please. <laughs> and then this. Boom. We'll level that up again. It'll actually do damage. And then I guess we'll just get this because there's a point left over. Boom. Better explosive shield. And then I'm using him because he's lowest level, I guess. Yes. Um, I did level her up again. I really, again, least favorite hero. But, you know. She she deserves to be leveled, damn it. Um, but, yeah, we're using those two. Uh, I'll explain the new tower when I get in there. It is a new blocker, but let's just get into it because these uh, two episode, like two levels, take me like more than I usually like to try to record. <laughs> like, and there's not a lot to cut out. These are easy edits. This game. Um, oh god, this thing. This thing is the bane of my existence. Let's look around though. That's a little bit weird. Someone's hanging up underwear. Busin business is normal, I guess. I'm not seeing... Oh! <laughs> Alright, there we go. Find Sheepy in each campaign. Um, apparently... So Sheepy's a reporter. I was told by... Uh, God, what is your name? Like, Voracious... Vor... Vor... Uh, uh, I, I know... I know when you became a patron, I memorized how to say it, but a fair, it's out of my head now. But apparently, um, in the first game, you can, like, click on a bunch of sheep and destroy them, and the single surviving sheep of that massacre became a reporter. And I guess, like, they were, they were doing updates where the sheep was interviewing different characters, so they're actually in the game. He just tried to interview this sheep, and that sheep was possessed by the cult, so, you know. Uh, it's a brutal world for sheep in this universe, is, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, new tower is... Do we get rid of this yet? Because this is a factor. So, alright, I need to, I need to book guys back here. All guns blazing. They're, they're very odd, because, yeah, they fly, just like the griffin, so they can only be hit by, um, by ranged units. However, if they're like this, they can't block. Clear the road. So you just put them on the ground and then they can block. Honestly, though, a lot of the times I do have them flying. <laughs> Because then they're just like a cool tower, and they have some good upgrades, so. Um, we're going to do this. Also, I'm, I'm pretty sure they can hit flying units, unlike the Gryphon. Um, which is kind of a big deal. Flamethrower, and then we want blockers down here. I don't think I cleared that yet. Um, boom, boom, boom. So shall it be. I think I need blockers there, too. And yeah, we'll clear these, because we're out of money, right? No, we weren't out of money. I mean, I should upgrade something. First guys are coming here and here, so... Guess we'll... Uh, uh, I can't. Alright, I'll upgrade you. Alright, let's go. 
New enemy, Mindless Husk. Due to their appearances, husks seem to be weak enemies, yet each one of them carries a surprise into the battlefield. Spawns a glaring on death. Now she moves instantly and can teleport, which is nice. And her shadow self just came, but let's move her back here. I'm gonna fly these guys down there, and look, they're starting to shoot. They don't do a lot of damage, though. And we're gonna actually just pop them on the ground to start blocking. And yeah, they're dying pretty quickly, but they are level 1, so... Um, my hero just got attacked by Glarings. And she just used her power to increase the range of all towers, so that's cool. Um, can you guys move out a bit? Yeah. Alright, um, let's use her power. Boom! Sucks them all into a void. They can't attack for a bit, and when they come out... After a million years, when they come out... They take damage, <laughs> which you may or may not have been able to even see. Now, do these all guys... Yeah, these guys might be, like, magic resistant, so... Eh, ah, just drop that. Alright, uh, Glare of the Overseer. The Overseer stares at the battlefield, empowering nearby enemies with his corrupted glare. Heals enemies staring in the area, triggers unique abilities. Very dangerous. Um, even the glarings can be annoying if uh, one of those is active. Let's increase the attack of this. Let's land these guys. There we go. Um, is he... I don't know if he's close enough, but yeah, the Glare of the Overseer is activated now. And it is absolutely uh, healing everyone who's passing it. And also, so... I don't know what everyone's secret ability is. The glaring secret ability um, when they're in this is that they um, move really fast. So they'll just run across it and then just be in a place where you don't want them, which isn't great. Uh, I need to land these guys. And send my hero back there, because these abominations are getting through. Bam! Glarings are coming in now. <laughs> oh my god, alright. Summon again. Also, you can actually summon... Uh, there is some crossover there. I had two hero units. Oh, I did... I don't think I mentioned, because I leveled up the um, the ranged units last time a glaring's getting through. Uh, teleport! Didn't get there in time. Um... Let's level you up. I, I didn't mention that uh, I have the uh, attack crow now, the crow master. He sends crows after people. It's very nice. Um, so he's even better at dealing with range than he was before. Where'd the hero go? Where is he? Where? More, more glaring just got through. My god. These guys aren't doing a good enough job at blocking, unfortunately. Uh. Um... Oh, he's... What? I would love to know how that happened, but I am resetting the stage. What am I at? Wave 4? Look at this. He can't move. He can't move. He's stuck. Yeah, I, I gotta... I don't know how, what the hell happened there, but no. Absolutely not. I am not doing the stage with one hero. Good God. You know what... You stay down here. I don't trust you up there. I don't know what the hell that was, but that wasn't great, buddy. That wasn't great at all. <laughs> I'm guessing he... I, I mean, I'll look at the video because I wasn't watching that point, but... That's never happened to me. All right. Okay, um, I don't remember how my towers were. Um, I do know that I need more blockers than I had, though, so... We're actually going to put two guys here. And then I need some heavy hitters here. Let's, let's do uh, that, yeah. Okay. Alright, we're back on wave four, I guess. I, I, no one got past this time, um, primarily because I was able to see my mistakes from the first time, I think. Um, so these guys are flying over there. We're gonna try to have some aerial stuff for them. Oh god, are they stunning both sides? Um, I created this block because so many glarings were getting past, so I landed them. Um, is he getting through? Yeah, he's gonna get through if I don't stop. There we go. Um, let's level these guys up. Cool. And my hero didn't get stuck inside of a magical wall or whatever the hell happened last time, so that's good. Bam, get out of here. Uh, basically, with this thing, you need to, like, figure out the glare of the Overseer's range. And then once you do that, um, you need to set up units to stop people from going into that field. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't- that abomination, hopefully we can kill him before the- the Overseer gets activated. Because there's no point in fighting an Abomination inside the uh, Overseer field. There are so many. Oh my god. 
All right. Oh my, I just sold that? I did not mean to do that. Whatever, I don't think I leveled it up. <laughs> I was just trying to move them. All right, so I need to move my hero away. There's no point in having him there, as I just said. Um, let's move my hero down for this massive blaring assault. And every single abomination is now at full health. <laughs> so, like, the overseeing thing really is messed up. Fortunately, the glarings, though, you actually can kill them in the field because they're that weak, but... Oh, you just don't want to. Um, we're going to actually trap all of these guys in the abyss so that I can concentrate on this one guy. So shall it be. And we are not calling the wave, really. <laughs> All right, in fact, you guys are in a bad place. But that's why I mo wanted to move them. I need them to block before people get there. Um, and they're just going to die when I land them here. But actually, I'll just keep them floating, whatever. Um, we're dealing with the abominations down there, which is good. Um, I think, yeah, I think we have enough attack power to make sure they don't get through. Cool. In fact, it's possible I shouldn't even have blockers here. There's just too likely that um, they're just going to get uh, overseered and it's not going to matter. So I should, I probably should actually sell that and get like just damage. Um, get you guys. Uh, oh, my hero's dead. Yeah, these guys are tearing up my heroes too, man. Ugh. Got glaring's coming. Uh, hero's back. <laughs> New enemy. Oh, God. All right. Um, flinging their many flying eyes over enemies, the vile spawners are always watching in every direction. Yeah, these guys spawn eyes. Oh, boy. All right. Yes, yeah, so we'll move you down even. Um, blah, oh god. And yeah, these are the lesser eyes they talked about. Evil eyes that float above the battlefield, acting as scouts of vile eye spawners. So those guys only appear if, um, if there's that other enemy. Uh, I think we need some help down here. I really gotta kill that vile eye spawner, though, don't I? Uh, um, trap you all. I'll just trap him. Okay, I guess I can't trap flying enemies. Interesting. Um, <laughs> let's get some flyers here. There's another eye spawner? Oh my god, alright. Level you up. Uh, I should level, I should have leveled that up. That probably would have been better, because now I'm leveling up a thing that was, like, within the, uh, the Overseer purview. So maybe, maybe actually back here might have been best. <laughs> Wait for them to get past the Overseer to attack them. All right, that'll work. Um, I still haven't let anyone pass, but I can't... All right, good. All right, the thing just activated. Um, we're going to land you guys. Let's take that spawner out for a little bit while we deal with abominations and whatnot. Uh, land you guys. Level you... I can't level you up. I don't have the money. <laughs> Well, at least these guys have done what they were supposed to do. I will say... Oh, no, don't go there. Oh, God, can we block them? Okay, thank God. <laughs> we we stopped them a little bit. We just delayed them slightly before they got to the Overseer Glare. We didn't need all that. I would love to kill that Abomination pretty quick. Um, Level this up. Let's get my magic hero back here to take care of some of these lesser eyes. I th I'm gonna hope that that's enough to kill that uh, that eyeball spawner. <laughs> Another thing you can do though, if there's something really uh, bad in the uh, overseer eye radius, if you use the uh, void thing, it stops them from uh, existing for a little bit. So then you can hope to wait it out. That was nice. Just gotta watch out for the the glaring counter attack here. Let's level these boys up. Alright, and move them a little bit forward. Cool. Uh, move my magic hero to the only place where there's action. Stop these abominations from getting in. Well, now I can't because those eyeballs just stopped my blockers from existing. Oh dear. Alright, you stop that. Eyeballs are just coming in, ruining my time. Eh. Let's see. I mean, I really want to level these guys up because they get cool powers and they're the new unit. Oh, damn it! I missed him. 
He's just stunning my heroes repeatedly. <laughs> cool, got you. Oh my god. Now move out of the way. Do not block them while they're there. We need them to move before the overseer looks at them. There we go. Good. Thank god. Um, level up. They're max level. So, their powers. This is a really cool one. Fires a mistle that instantly kills a target up to 300 health. Um, that gets to like 800 health. So it can... What is an abomination? If there's... Of course I want to look and there's no abominations on screen currently. That is just the way, isn't it? Um, but I think it might be able to one-shot an abomination. I'm not sure. Also, I do wonder if the missile is aiming at someone who has uh, more than that. Does it just not do damage? Or does it just do a bunch of damage to them? That I'm also not sure of. We amazingly blocked every single glaring. As annoying as they are, they are very weak, so there is that. I see you eyeballs trying to fly past. We're going to level up this. Try to do something about that. I'd send a unit out, but it'd just get killed. Or stunned, rather. This will take care of that guy, right? Nope. All right. We got to attack. Cool. And he stunned, um, he stunned like the crow in the first guy, but the other guy kept on shooting. I like that. Uh, spawn early. So let's get that missile up. And the other thing that happens is... I thought this was the arrow tower that did this, but I guess not. Um, you can shoot... Or every attack deals 1% armor damage. So that's really for, like, really big guys that might actually do something. Um, eventually, they just won't have armor if they live long enough. <laughs> but even if they if it doesn't get to that point, they'll probably get degraded once if they live for a bit. It's, it's nice. It's not a bad power. Delay you guys. Um, so yeah, Missile goes up to 600, and Missile goes up to 900, and the Abomination just died. Here, here are you. Yes, that Missile can one-shot Abominations. Doesn't matter if they're in this, because, um, being in the Overseer's view only, uh, increases their regeneration. It doesn't give them more health, so they will still die in one hit, so. Very nice. Uh, drop a bomb on you. Not, they're actually launching glaring slightly ahead of these guys, and they're just going through. It's ridiculous. Um, boom! Stop you guys from healing for like eight seconds. I don't think it matters. It'll only matter if, uh, yeah, if, it, if they came out, um, after it was done, that would have mattered, but they didn't. Uh, some glarings are getting through, but not enough to matter. Uh, <laughs> Cool, cool. We're still stopping people, but barely. I don't think- I could try to move him back here. I don't think it would matter. Yeah, it's gonna take a million years for- Actually, no, maybe he'll do something. Keep on moving back. New guys are coming, but yeah, never mind. Go back. <laughs> Go back. They're already taken care of. See if we can deal with that eye jerk up there. Teleport my hero there instantly. And so her void power still can't kill, like, these mid-range guys. The uh, mindless husks, unfortunately. It can do a lot of damage, but if it can't kill them before they get to the Overseer, potentially, it's not doing too much. Um, can we move these guys forward? I know that um, it's bad from a... There we go. There's the missile. Pew! Just killed a glaring. <laughs> Just want to have them potentially use their special power earlier. All right, we're we're holding the line. Kill those husks. Kill them early. Kill them often. Got a bunch of lesser eyes. Uh oh, damn it! My magic hero died, <laughs> so I can't send her back for emergency. Stopping that one glaring. Fortunately, my teleporters looks like they did something. Good, and she's here now. Oh, that some of those are gonna get through, right? Level up that tower real quick, maybe. Uh, amazingly enough, they're holding the line, <laughs> but just barely. Nope, a bunch of guys are getting in now. Oh, uh, it's all over. Yep, yep, no three stars for me, alas. Um. Oh, I don't need you guys making less of our eyes back here. Oh, we're on the final wave too. That's rough. And I had a bunch of money. I bet... I mean, I bet if that was at a flame tower up there, I could have prevented that. But, alright. Still, fine. Uh, yeah, these stages get pretty stressful later on. <laughs> you deal with a lot. 
And, like, they were powerful enough to just murder my heroes repeatedly, which is crazy. That being said, shorter stage than some of the other ones. For sure. Now, I'm not sure what the other... Um, I, I think there really are, like, two achievements every, um, every level, but I don't know what the other one... By the way, I completed all of the, uh, I, I did this, went back, completed that stage without using any of the places you have to dig up. I killed, uh, 30 enemies with the heart of the, uh, the tree. That's the tree that, like, shoots lasers and stuff. It's not the tree that uses vines. I got three stars in every, uh, stage at the beginning, so that's cool. Some of these, though, you have to go on impossible difficulty, which I don't know if I'm going to end up completing those. I don't know if I care enough. Uh, I also slew um, 3,000 enemies, was it? Or it might have even been the higher one. Yeah, I, I slew, slew 10,000 enemies, excuse me, and used my hero power 500 times. So yeah, I'm getting those. Anyway, new hero. Did she level up? She certainly did. Um, we're going to max out her void. Because now it does... Uh, now it should kill those husks, for example. Um... And I do really like that. Distort space. And magic reflection is better. But now we're also using you! Um, Onargo. Looks like it's a, uh, a goblin... A goblin mechanic. Yeah, mad goblin tinkerers. So what do they got? Death from above. Calls a zeppelin. We'll level that up once. Um, mind drop. While standing still, mech periodically leaves up to three explosive mines on the path. Mech pounds the ground, briefly stunning enemies and dealing damage. So that's an area of attack. Throws bombs that spill tar on the past, slowing enemies by 50%. And increasing that increases the amount of times that it's summoned. And summons two drones to attack enemies for eight seconds. We're going to level that one up twice. You are my new guy. Let's get in there. Okay. Upgrades. Um, maximize the damage of all explosive towers to increase their area of effect. Let's get that, and then replace my flamethrower with the cannon tower. The cannon tower and the flamethrower really are just very similar. I just like the cannon tower a little bit better. And now it'll get an explosion uh, boost. Because I don't think... It doesn't say what counts as explosion damage. But I think very few things. I mean, maybe the um, these guys, because they're meant to be this type of tower too, but I don't like them as much. Uh, this probably also counts as explosion, because it's exploding barrels, right? I think we're ready to go. All right. Uh, the Desiccated Temple. All right. There's the Eye of the Overseer in a very inconvenient spot. We got people coming from here, and presumably here and here. Let's move up. All right, so I'm going to put a cannon tower right here. We're going to put flying damagers here. God, this Overseer thing's going to be really annoying, isn't it? So we put a blocky boy here. This is the way. And I do want to point out, my knights would do a better job. It, 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 like, you're really trying to stop guys from going to a certain spot. These guys just aren't as good at blocking <laughs> as the knights. Mainly because there's three of them. That really is the biggest factor. Um, so we'll hit them with magic right there. And right, right there. Put you there. The path is clear. I think I need more blockers here. Let's cut that out and give... Mmm... Magic. Blocking. Now, hopefully they can actually scoot away from the Overseer Eye. I don't know, though. Uh, and we want to level up the Cannon Tower once, I think. Actually make it do damage. Okay. Let's go. That is, that is quite the range. She is increasing it. I'm assuming it shows it. I don't know, though. Uh, yes. Yes? I don't know. I would have had to keep on clicking on it while it disappeared. So note, he's setting down mines, <laughs> which is his power. But let's move him up a little bit. Cannon tower. Alright, that's some damage. And there's my little attack drones. Cool. Now, I don't think... Alright, land. Land to stop the glarings. Um, I don't think that he can hit ranged um, with his normal attacks, but I don't know... Um, oh, but this might. This probably can. In Colin the Zeppelin. <laughs> no, that's just dropping bombs on people. That's also not going to hit range. But those two attack drones, I, I bet they do hit range. So we do have some range defense. Let's increase these blockers' power. 
Uh, Alright, cool. They, they were able to do it. Move her up. Yeah, the, you get so much more experience on these later levels, too, um, it seems. And they're just in constant battle. Like, she actually leveled up. That's very cool that she's at level 8 when I only leveled her up once before the episode. There's a lot of guys that didn't get that. And let's see. I think that this power, the Void power, will kill these uh, Huffs, but I'm not entirely sure. So, after the 8 seconds ends, we'll see if they die instantly. Yep, all dead. <laughs> all right, we got these eye jerks coming, so... That's rough. Um, never mind. He is absolutely hitting the aerial guys. Cool. Oh, no. <laughs> land, land, land. That's good. So they're in a good spot. They're, they're set to um, block people. No, never mind. I was going to say they're set to block people when they come out of the, uh, of the overseer range, but they didn't in that case, so. Eep. Um... Let's kill those husks under the glare. Send in that as help. Send in my uh, magic person as help. Tons of guys look like they just floated past. Oh god. No, no, they didn't. They didn't get past. It was close, but they didn't get past. Okay. Um, how fast do you move? Not very fast at all. Well, <laughs> husk, 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 husk. Uh, I don't think they're going to stop them in time. Only one got through. I'll take it. That could have been way worse. Uh... Stop him! Stop him! Yes! <laughs> Move that guy back. There's a fight at the very top of the screen over there. Good, got him. <laughs> Stopped him right at the last second. Alright, uh, level up my blockers, level up these guys. Call slightly early. Whew, okay. Keep on shooting. Kill this abomination before the Overseer looks at him. Good. New enemy. Noxious spitter. Amphibious looking creatures that spit poison bile over their prey. Also dangerous. Close up. Gains magic resist... Gains magic resistance? Oh, okay. And emits poison aura when affected by the glare. Okay, so they're not that bad when they're not in the glare, it looks like. But when they are... <laughs> um, cannon tower, level up. Magic girl, help with the battle. Put a zeppelin here. Uh, I, it might be a really bad idea, but I called early. <laughs> Just the way it is. Uh, level you up. I mean, it doesn't look like it's bad that I called early so far. Uh, let's just void trap all these jerks. Oh god, my guys are dead there. <laughs> That's not good. Alright, I mean, we're definitely fighting... Actually, I don't know if the glare reaches up here. It doesn't! Alright, so this is a great place to fight, actually. Cool. Uh, let's reinforce the people that get by. Zeppelin's doing some nice work. <laughs> well, that means I should have another blocker here, then. If, if this is a good place to fight, then. There we go. Kill 300 glarings achievement. <laughs> good God. That's a lot of glarings. Level this tower up to max. My, my teleporting uh, tower blocker things are also doing a lot of work, which is nice. Alright, we got the bottleneck of my two heroes there, but I'm actually going to move her down. Uh, there's not a lot of attack over here, which is a bit rough. Let's move these guys back a bit, move her back a bit, and if we could level up that tower so we have something, that'd be nice. But Husks die instantly with my hero power, so we'll use that. And this is going to be really nice against these, like, any flying guys, really, so... I mean, in general, it's just nice in everyone. <laughs> it's a good tower. Cool. All right, we're holding the line. My my poor uh, mage though doesn't do great in melee combat, so we're moving her back. See if we can hope there. Good. We killed the abomination before the overseer came. I don't know how frequently the overseer opens. Oh, look at that! It has an eye counter. It looks like it gives you a warning. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Um. Yeah, I think we land these guys and move them so that they are in the center. 
to take care of those husks. And if we're lucky, we can stop these uh, abominations from getting to the Overseer, so nothing will matter. Okay. Uh, getting some hero reinforcements. Cool. Overseer eye closed. I don't know if I really need to level up the abilities for like these guys just have such a good standard attack, uh, and their abilities are good, but they're not amazing. So I might not waste the money. I, it might be better spent elsewhere. Okay. Um, move the magic person up a little bit. I don't think she's actually in the fight there. There we go. One of the best things, I mean, besides the fact that she does magic attack, it's just that she teleports. There are not a lot of heroes that just go like, Bloop. And if she's close enough, she will walk. <laughs> but if she's far enough away, instant teleportation is very nice. There we go. Engaging with the one I wanted her to. Let's kill those husks instantly. Let's send a zeppelin after you. I don't really need the shenanigans of you sending a hundred million eyeballs over, if I can prevent it. There we go, that's the damage. You see it? Okay, these guys have magical resistance, so sending her wasn't actually the best to deal with him, but... She's who I had at the time. Send you- I forgot these guys were not blocking, they're actually flying the entire time. Let's land them. They are- I think they have increased range when they attack, though. Or when they attack flying. And then they can't be damaged, so they're, they're kind of just like another tower, but at that point, you probably want another tower, <laughs> so... But the versatility is nice. The fact that you have options is nice. New enemy! Okay, these guys are rough. Um, blade Claw Horror. These breed of horrors have sharpened their blades for hands and will carve out a path through their enemies. Rolling at high speeds and cannot be blocked when affected by glare. This is why they're so powerful. When they get to the glare, they just skip so much space that it's it's rough, man. It is rough, and there they are. Um, we're gonna try to block them. Gonna move these guys down, actually. Um, and let's see, can I... I trapped every single one of those guys in void. That's awesome. We're not summoning, though. We have to deal with this. Let's actually move these guys down, too. Alright, <laughs> stop all of this, please. Stop all of these shenanigans. Because, look, they're not that bad when they're not in the glare. It's just when they're in the glare, it's bad. Uh, they do do an incredibly large amount of damage, though. They just killed my hero. But cool, we stopped all of them before they got to uh, the, the Overseer. Didn't uh, affect them. I think, actually, they would have just run through and they still wouldn't have... Also, the Cannon Tower is uh, two-shotting these glaring, sometimes one-shotting them. So one more upgrade will probably one-shot them. And again, I don't think the glarings get uh, leveled up when they're in the uh, the void. Oh, no, they're rolling. <laughs> Stop them from rolling for a little bit. At least until my hero gets back. There we go. Um, yeah, no, the, sometimes the Cannon is the one-shotting the glaring. So here they go, they're rolling, and healing, and wishing, and praying. Alright, yeah, this is this is a problem. They're, they do incredibly large amounts of damage and they're all there. They're just going to tear everyone up. Uh, I don't think I can do much about it now, though. Move back, alright, they teleported, good. Cool, we, we, we held the line. <laughs> Barely, but we did it. Um... Oh god, she just died. Uh, Alright, cannon though. <laughs> Boom, all of the cannon hits just hit that one husk. That was nice. That was some damage. What would that be? Uh, yeah, that's like probably half their health. So good. Husks are going down. Poison guys are going down. My little blades just came out. You know, this is such an important tower because it hits both lanes. We actually are going to level up its abilities, I think. Um... Overseer's eyes are closed currently and don't look like they're coming up anytime soon, which I like quite a bit. Maybe move you down a little bit. New wave coming, got almost 40 gold for it. Two abominations, okay. So I guess we move my, my magic hero there since I moved them down there. It might be better to actually keep him up there, though. I don't know. I mean, we're not moving him now with all those abominations. Are you kidding me? Uh, but, uh, oh my god, there's... Yeah, there's so many guys there. If anything, we need to move everyone down here. <laughs> Level up my blockers to max. 
Send my Zeppelin. Send my powers. <laughs> now we're all hitting this claw jerk. Cool, killed the claw, and all the abominations are back. Level, uh, I love to level you up, actually. End this. Create a little death. I mean, we only got two waves left, but yeah, this is becoming quite the uh, quite the area here. Abomination down. Okay, what do we want? Um, probably the physical attackers, actually. Yeah, because I think. No, they don't. None of these. A lot of these guys don't have armor. Interesting. All right, we don't want the we don't want the hero fighting that death claw head on though. <laughs> so much damage. Zeppelin over here. All right, all the death cards were taken care of, so they didn't make it through. Take that. Whirling Doom Blade, maximum level. What does that do? Okay. That potentially could do like 300 points of damage, so I like that. Capture you until I can get some guys over here. Don't fear the unknown. And boom. I think we want to level up. Just don't have the money. <laughs> and there we go. The uh, Overseer is activated. We just killed some of those lesser eyes under the ga under the watch of it, though, so that's nice. Um, we're not doing enough damage to kill these, uh, these, these spawners, though, which isn't great. <laughs> There, we got that. I mean, the eyes aren't that bad. We are taking them out as they go, but the spawners, man, <laughs> they'll just keep on making them. Distracting my guys. Alright, they got their first missile level. Yeah, the ma again, the magic resistance isn't helping. <laughs> Good, got them out. Uh, let's switch. You go here, you go here. Oh my. <laughs> Here comes the death claws. Right, send you, send you. Trap two of them in the void, but not the third one, on purpose, so that he can just take damage, because we can't damage him when he's out of the void. Good. <laughs> Divide and conquer. Uh, I, I tried to pull my hero back, but I was not fast enough. Um, boom, ba boom. So now we got bombardment. Bombardment's going off. Doom, 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 doom. You really, the cannon towers are so like they're good, but they're so expensive to upgrade. I honestly think you only need one. Uh, once you get more than that, it can be rough. Sending in reinforcements to deal with this because I just killed both of my blockers. Deal with all that. Uh, both are my top hero died, unfortunately. All right, maximum magic tower though. We could actually get that star upgrade, which will probably be really good for killing glarings. Because uh, like this thing, it, you kill an enemy, they turn into stars, but only if she kills it. And I go, I bet she can tap some of those glarings. And then those can kill other glarings. All right, cool. Final wave. We got this. I don't think they can do anything. No tricks for you, and only one guy got past? That's a three star, baby. All right. <laughs> it's annoying that I almost got the three star on the other one. Like, it was ridiculously close, but whatever. I just didn't hold it for that final round. All right, nice. Okay. And that's with a level restart? Those levels were just shorter than some of the other levels. What can I say? Elrich Channeler. I really like this magic tower, I must say. Alright. Um, I think we got one, two, three stages left. So, I guess next time we'll do these two stages, and then after that it'll be the last stage. And then I guess I will show the uh, heroes that you get for beating the game. And, um, well here's the thing. So, at the time of recording this, the DLC is not out, but it should be out by now, because it comes out on the 3rd of November. Um, and it's almost the 3rd of November. So, uh, there, there will be more to show. I haven't played the DLC, though, because, again, it's not out yet. But, I mean, it, it should be out by the time you're hearing this. Uh, they leveled up, which is nice. We're going to level up them Zeppelins. Where are the, where are the mines? I like those mines. Yeah, put the mines out. <laughs> 
And then maximum drones. Because I know that hits ranged. Okay. And let's just peruse the tower. Elrich Chandler. Vinaza's apprentice use their corrupt powers to cast a dark ray. This is the constantly firing magical tower. It just keeps on hitting, which is cool. Um, what if I tried having two types of blockers? Nah, we don't want to do that. I think I'm going to bring my imps back for a little bit. I always want to go back to the knights since I like them the best, but variety. We'll bring back necromancers next time, too. So let's do Arbalest. They haven't had the Arbalest in a long time. All right. That is that. We got three upgrade points. I think I will... Uh, hero skill cooldown, 20%. That makes a difference. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you, as always, to my lovely patrons. And next episode, we will continue on this dark realm. And I didn't look for secrets that last map, did I? Huh. Well, next time I'll see if there are any. All right, later guys, thanks for watching.